Hello everyone! Welcome to Cooking the Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Google Teachable Machine to detect breathing. So, basically what it does is you teach an AI to recognize a certain sound or image or pose. I haven't tried that. And it'll tell you when it detects a certain thing. I made one that detects inhaling. When I inhale like that, it tells me. So when I'm just talking like... It knows that it's not inhaling, but if I inhale, it detects it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right. So to get started, open your browser and go to teachablemachine.withgoogle.com. Mine's popped up because I've used it before. Then click on Get Started. Choose audio project, because we are going to do it with sound. If you want to do it with images, it's basically the same, so I've never tried pose mode. To work, your AI needs a sample of background noise, so record at least 20 seconds of that. Then click on the Extract Sample button to add them. Now I'm going to rename my other class to Breathing. Now let's record some samples. Simply record it and press the Extract Sample button over and over again. Once you think you have enough samples, just click on the Train button and wait a little while. The more samples you have, the longer it takes. And now, it's not very accurate. It thinks everything is inhaling. I should probably add some talking into the background noise so that it doesn't think that talking is inhaling. We need to add more background noise. I'm just going to record myself talking for about 20 seconds. Cool, okay, now we're going to press Extract Sample. Now we have twice as much background noise samples. Since there's only 20 samples of myself inhaling, let's add more breathing. Let's just make this like 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. Oops, I accidentally recorded myself talking. It's okay. We can just delete the parts where I talked. Great, now click extract sample. Now I have 47 examples of what my breathing sounds like. Train model. And now it believes that my talking is background noise because it knows what my voice sounds like. But now if I go, it goes up. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just talking and I go, and it, and it notices. So I'd say that this works pretty well. Now, click on expert model and this is where you actually program and not just like click on buttons now you click on upload my model and now you wait a little while and it's going to generate you some code for your model done it did it it's like magic now what you can do is you can click on copy here and you can open whatever your favorite text editor is and paste in that code and save it. Now find the file on your computer and open it in your browser. And now it's got some basic default stuff. Click on start, click it harder, and it asks for your microphone. Click on allow. And then it decides if you're breathing or if it's background noise. But that's pretty boring. Like, who cares? But here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. You can go over to your text editor now. And here it is. Class prediction, class.labels. And then now it's finding the element and putting a colon and doing that. What you can do is we're going to copy result.scores i.2 fix2. Copy that. Now make an if statement. If that is greater than or equal to, let's say, 95%. So 0 0.95. And if class labels i is equal to, and in quotes, whatever you want to detect. So inhale is the name of the label that I want it to detect. Close parentheses, open curly braces, close them. And then inside them, just put alert. Inhale detected. Close the quotes, close the parentheses. And now 
We can delete all this stuff up here because it doesn't really matter. Save that. Reload in your browser. Click on start. Allow the microphone. And now, what it thinks is background noise is background noise, but if I inhale, it says inhale detected. And you can use that to detect things like images in the webcam. If you just train an image model instead, it'll the code is basically the same what it generates. It works. It can detect inhaling. Look, let me do it again. And I mean, it's a little bit slow, but it's still impressive that you can do that right in the browser, thanks to Google's Teachable machine. And you can use this for whatever you want. You could probably you could do a bunch of classes and have it like control. You could control a video game using different noises. Wouldn't that be cool? I want to try that sometime. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and remember that it might not be a waste of time.